What's up guys, my name is Aaron or Xer Cosmo and welcome back to another Overwatch video. It is finally time to start talking about the Halloween event, one of the fan favorites of all of the Overwatch events, though there aren't very many scary things this year really, besides what my DPSR has become within the last week. Ah! But besides that, it is time for Halloween. All things spooky, the event date, event skins, and the possible event game mode. But before I start, I would like to ask, if you enjoy Overwatch videos and want quick, straight to the point Overwatch news, then please do consider subscribing, it would mean the world to me. So the date for the Halloween event is what I'm going to go over first. So the date is usually on the easier side of things to predict for this event at least. Events like Summer Games, Archives, they're really, really hard to smack a date on because you just really never know when it's going to start besides using data from past events. But Halloween, super easy, holiday, and I would almost bet money that this year's Halloween event is going to start on October 12th. Almost every year, the Halloween event starts on the second Tuesday of October, so that is going to be my pick for what I think the date is. I can confidently say that it is 100% going to be within that week, and if it isn't that Tuesday, then it will most likely be that Thursday after, which is the 14th. And if you didn't know, Overwatch updates always come on Tuesdays or Thursdays. If I saw an event come out on a Friday, I, would, I wouldn't know what to do with myself because they always come out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So come at me when I'm wrong, but I've actually nailed the event dates right on the head for the past like three events, so I think I've earned your guys' trust. Yeah, so that is going to be the date of the event. Like I said, leave a comment what you think is going to be the date, but I'm pretty sure I'm right, so don't doubt me. Trust me. <laughs> now it's time for what I know most of you want to hear about the event skins. It's about this part of the video that I'd be making a joke about all the sim mains in the world living a really sad life, being an L person, and never ever getting a skin because their character sucks. But they got a skin last event, so that's a chunk of my personality gone now. <laughs> but I do have a new one, being a sad McCree main after I realized McCree's last legendary skin was at the Winter Wonderland 2019 event the same amount of time as the Symmetra skin. And no one really wanted to say anything, because I guess the sim mains out there, they're, they're, the, they're the loud minority, but us McCree mains, we, we know we're better, so it's okay. We're gonna get a skin this event, so yeah, McCree is going to be my first pick for a legendary skin for this event, and then... For the others who haven't gotten a skin in a long time, Ana hasn't gotten a skin in a pretty long time, but there is a little problem that comes along with Ana not getting a skin, is that she already has two skins that are legendaries for this event, but I really don't think that matters. Blizzard really usually doesn't take that into account. It's more along the time of how long you've gotten a skin for when it comes out for them to get a skin, if that made sense literally at all, <laughs> but yeah, I think you guys get what I mean. So those are two solid picks for the Halloween skins so far, they usually get pretty good skins skins as well, so that's good. But for the other heroes who might get skins, well, here they are. Currently, for the Halloween event, every hero actually has a skin, but there are some heroes who still don't have legendary skins. Those being Ryan, Echo, Lucio, Baptiste, Brigida, and Bastion. So right off the bat, I just want to boot Echo off this list because she has gotten a ridiculous amount of skins for the time being that she's been out. So I really, I really don't think I'll get one. Once again, another thing I say every single event video and, and then Echo ends up getting a skin. But for the others, I actually think they have a really, really good chance at getting a skin. Blizzard has followed pretty much the same exact format for like the past two years where it's around five to six legendary skins and then the three weekly skins. So this all works out number wise for the amount of heroes predicted. So I think these heroes are going to most likely be getting the spots for this year's Halloween event and skins. And speaking of skins and weekly skins, another skin we could be getting close to this time is the McCree skin. So I just wanted to include this in here because it is so close possibly, but after this current week, it's while I'm recording this, it is September 28th at the time of this recording, and Blizzard could possibly reveal the new McCree event within the new comic for his name and stuff on Overwatch 2. This could be after the Halloween event, before. I have so many videos on McCree's name, I sound like a broken record at this 
point so if you want to watch that just click the top right of the video i just thought it might be important and fun to include in this video since it relates to skins and it could be super super close for that new character arc skin challenge thingy so there will be a skin idea video as well for these halloween event skins so be sure to subscribe for that to see some cool skins for the halloween event also comment down below which skins you want to see and what you are most excited for and it could get in my video on the skins for the next event so just leave a comment the skin you want to see what hero you want to get a skin and i will put it in the next video i'll make sure i read every comment so please be sure to comment down below all right now on to the last part of this video which is probably going to be the most controversial the game mode ah junkenstein's revenge probably one of the worst game modes out of all of the events i'm pretty sure everyone knows the game mode for halloween that it was fun at first but it's just it's just complete cheeks bro it's not even fun anymore i've played it me at least have played it five years in a row five years and it like has a barely changed at all same bosses bot enemies that have done the same thing for literally five years or one challenge where they do something so different that it really doesn't make a difference so i don't really think much will change here we can always have our hopes up and i could lie to you guys and be like hmm maybe they will let us play test overwatch too but i'm not even gonna sugarcoat shit anymore we all know that is just not happening at all we're not getting any overwatch 2 stuff because we just got it we have to wait eight months now <laughs> so chunky signs revenge with maybe two to three challenges that really doesn't change anything so yeah if they do give us overwatch 2 stuff catch me taking my word back i will gladly gladly take my word back if they give us overwatch 2 stuff but i i told i really don't think that is the route Blizzard's going to be taking with this. I don't think we're going to be getting a beta for the event game mode instead of fucking shitty Junkin' Signs Revenge. So I already said my opinions on how I think if they will do a beta, I would be in the November period before the winter event or after the winter event, maybe around the same time as the McCree arc story I was talking about before. So yeah, that's the game mode. Like I said, not much to expect. I wouldn't expect much if I were you guys either. We're probably going to get Junkin' Signs Revenge. I honestly... Just like the date, I will bet money <laughs> that we are going to get Junkin' Signs Revenge again. And like I said about the beta too, if we do get something different, that would be great. But trust me guys, I don't want to get anyone's hopes up, so take whatever I said about the beta with a grain of salt. So we, I don't think we're going to get anything, long story short. Yeah, so that's really all for today. Um, like I said before, the event is probably going to start on the 12th, and on the 12th, or whenever the event starts, I am going to be doing an event live stream, so be sure to tune into that. It's going to be a countdown till the event, so we can all hang out and wait for the new skins, and look at all leaks together if there are any, so I'm super excited for that. What do you guys think about my speculation on the Halloween event? Like I said, comment down below what skins you want for the Halloween event. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the video as well. Please drop a like, it helps the channel out a lot. And if you want more gaming content and news, hit that subscribe button and that bell so you can see all my videos when they first come out. Also, if you want a shout out at the end of the video, leave a comment and you can get picked for that. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.